Hello, this is Mike from DangerandPlay.com, and today I have something really cool to talk about. I'm going to talk about um, my latest blood work where I measured my testosterone levels and my follicle-stimulating hormone and my luteinizing hormone. This is exciting because I did an experiment that I didn't tell anybody about and I didn't let you guys know about. Three weeks ago, I decided that I was going to go off TRT. I went off a of TRT because I'd been doing a bunch of research on how to raise your testosterone levels naturally and how to lower your cortisol levels by doing these like alpha male body postures, I call them. There's a woman who did a TED talk on it and I watched her stuff and I thought, eh, that's, that's pretty good. I learned some stuff at a Tony Robbins seminar and then I put my own tweak on it and, and my own take on it. But I, I never feel authentic or real with you guys if I say, hey, this shit raises your testosterone and lowers your cortisol, makes you taller. If I don't like actually do it right, isn't that bullshit? Aren't you tired of people saying, buy my ebook on how to raise your testosterone levels naturally. Buy my supplements, my testosterone boosters, and you'll you raise your testosterone. But they never actually show you their, their blood work, right? Isn't that fucking bullshit? And aren't you sick and tired of it? Well, I'm sick and tired of it. And that's why I've decided to raise the standard for everyone who's in the industry, so to speak. They, they either post their blood work or they can't talk. That's the new standard. If you're not posting your blood work, you're not allowed to have an opinion. And I'm going to raise that standard and set the standard myself and hold myself to those same standards. And that is why I've always been transparent with my blood work. Let's look at this blood work. Three weeks ago, I took my last shot of testosterone propanate. Prop clears your bloodstream in about 36 to 48 hours. That means I had a testosterone level of zero when I went off. Zero. My follicle-stimulating hormone and my luteinizing hormone, zero. Because I'd been on TRT for 18 months. That means I, start, I started from nowhere. Look what we've accomplished in three weeks. Now, you'll t see the testosterone level, total and free, is low. And you might say, oh, you have low T. What does that prove? Well, let, let's scroll down, shall we? This is my luteinizing hormone, and this is my follicle-stimulating hormone. Both of these now are well within range. In fact, my luteinizing hormone is, is a little bit high. These are healthy, normal, natural levels, and, and they're actually, again, towards the high range, and that one is, is a little too high as my body readjusts. So my testosterone went, went from, zero, from 0 to 211 in um, three weeks. And again, that wasn't even a full three weeks. That was more like 19 days. That is with no HCG, no clamoid, no nothing. That's just strictly doing these poses. And then, of course, I do a certain type of dieting. I, I've lowered stress in, in every way. So I can say to you guys with truth and from the bottom of my heart that if you do those posture exercises that I've been posting and I'm going to have a bunch more, you, you will you will raise your testosterone levels. I mean, this is proof. How many other people have gone from a testosterone level of zero to 211 without taking HCG or anything else in less than three weeks? Again, just a little bit over two weeks. Um, I was able to accomplish that. How high can we go? I don't know. But this is proof that it works. If you're not on TRT and you want to try to boost your testosterone levels, start doing those exercises immediately. Thanks again. This is Mike from DangerandPlay.com.